From a tropical rainforest to the edge of time. Blasting off into the skies over French Guiana. It's the biggest telescope ever sent into orbit. The James Webb Telescope is on an important mission to look back through space and time at the first stars and galaxies and piece together the mysteries of the universe. The $10 billion infrared time machine is the successor to the Hubble Telescope, which was launched in 1990 and was produced by NASA in partnership with the European and Canadian space agencies. I like to think of it as NASA's vehicle for the deepest space exploration that humanity can do. It will allow us to see farther back in time to the time when the very first stars and galaxies were being born. Additionally, it's different from Hubble in that it's an infrared optimized telescope. And so this means it will allow us to peer through clouds of gas and dust in our own galaxy where stars and planets are being born. Scientists spent 25 years building the telescope, which has the technology to detect the light and energy from extremely distant objects. The pictures provided by its ultra-sensitive infrared detectors will allow scientists and all of us to galaxies beyond our own in more detail than ever before. But Saturday's successful launch is just the beginning. The telescope will travel for about a month until it reaches its final orbit about one and a half million kilometers away from Earth. During that time, controllers on the ground will coordinate the extremely complex and delicate process of remotely unfolding the telescope into its final form. We've talked a lot about the complexity and the risk. Uh, we just let the team execute. We, we fly many missions with single point failures. Uh, we fly everything without redundancy. The structure is the one we always point to, but that's kind of obvious. So uh, this is no different. Uh, we, we followed all the best practices. Uh, so I, I have no, no real concerns other than just uh, the, the technical complexity itself. NASA says it's the most ambitious project of its kind ever carried out, with hundreds of individual steps that must be executed perfectly. If the James Webb makes it through that nail-biting process in one piece, we can expect its first pictures in late 2022. Axel Zaimovich, TRT World.